where is this recession? Is it is it going uh, to happen in 2023? What's going on there? Did you see his his answer uh, during the last press conference when when somebody asked him about the soft landing? He just fumbled around and he, like there was just like there's <laughs> he's like focus, uh, I don't focus, think so. James. It's totally changed, and I I bring this up in a different way. Do you notice that he doesn't talk about inflation? He in fact mentioned credit risk or credit the word credit over ten times as often as he mentioned the word inflation. That's right. It'll just show you how the focus of the Fed has shifted that's to why a I think credit that, crisis. Yeah, that's a why. A credit I crisis that, which will lead, right, James? A credit crisis which will lead to a recession because when recess, when ch credit gets choked off, Nico, like we're we're right within a uh, rounding error, not even a rounding error, with a statistical uh, error of, of uh, being in a recession right now. And all of a sudden you get hit with a credit crisis. Um, I'm, uh, well, look, I don't even care because all paths lead to Bitcoin. I just don't care. Like, just stop trying to fine tune this idiot needle. It, it is indifferent as to whether the, <laughs> there's a true recession is defined by the uh, uh, Bureau of uh, Labor Statistics versus a, everyone knows it's a recession, but we're going to redefine the, uh, what a recession is. And by the way, a recession is going to be good for us as soon as it hits. They're going to make some reason that it's good for us. Guys, it doesn't matter. All of this means that the debt burden explodes even faster because there's no tax revenue to pay the existing debt burden, which means they got to print more money, which means Bitcoin goes up in value relative to a debasing uh, US dollar. Hey, you want to start measuring Bitcoin in something that can at least keep pace with Bitcoin? Oil. Oil and Bitcoin. That is is going to be a much better pair to look at than oil versus US dollar or oil versus, or excuse me, or Bitcoin versus the US dollar. Yeah, I agree. Totally. Looking at something that's uh, an actual commodity, you know, and it's right. I mean, that, that it's a great simple simplification. It's so important is that there's, there is no path that does not lead to debasement. Every single path leads to debasement. It's just a question of, I saw somebody ask like, Look, uh, I usually feel things are longer. Mel was saying this, and they, they, then it, then I, then I expect. And but right now, I feel nervous. Well, I'll tell you a few things. I, you know, part of me, I feel, I feel more nervous about this environment than I ever have. Like more anxious about it. And part of me feels so at peace and calm because I own Bitcoin. So it's like I, I've got this thing going on where I, I'm maybe shell shocked from my old days and on wall street and the 1998 long-term capital management and then 2001 and then 2008 and now two, it's like maybe that's part of it but there's just no way around it it's pure math then uh -huh. is all going towards printing more money and debasing the dollar it's just it has to happen and the question is how rapidly and uh you know does the balaji win his bet or not and and uh -huh. You know, because it's different, indifferent. It doesn't because matter. You know what? It's going yeah, to happen it either it, way. It's either just a question of whether it happens in ninety days. Which yeah, either won't. way, I, we I, win. Okay, guys. Yeah. So just keep the path. Larry Lapard was on a great uh, uh, spaces group. James was part of it today, and I'll just say, like, just take it as if this is a marathon, not a sprint. Okay, keep focused on the finish line, which is twenty six miles in the difference. In the, in, in the distance, 42 kilometers. We don't care what happens over the next kilometer or two or, you know, mile and a half. We're in this for the next 20 years because of the kids. This is the life raft. And if you have people who are not in Bitcoin yet, you're sort of happy that the price is staying at a reasonable purchase price that doesn't appear excessive for the people who still haven't done their homework, Nico. Not everybody understands. Hey, I noticed, by the way, Big Sean Harris is in the house. Thanks for joining, Sean. Guys, look. What's up, John? Yeah, all we can say is this. All we can say is we're trying to educate people to do the simple mathematics. And we're, we're not trying to slow the FOMO. Look, it's <laughs> not FOMO. This is fucking education, okay? If I'm freaking you out because you don't own it, then I'm doing the right stuff. If you don't own it and you're too stupid to own it, get someone else to manage your money, okay? Because this is truth we're talking, not FOMO. It's based on mathematics. 
It's not based on anything else. It's 100% certain the U.S. dollar will debase. 100% certain. You very rarely get 100% certainty in your life. Well, it's 100% certain the U.S. dollar is going to debase. Plan accordingly. Oh.